Yellow Spinner, how about a little Vietnamese vibe today? I'm not only show you the mini combo and break it down into parts, but in the end we will also put together one bigger combo. This is for the real diehards. So I found this cool video by Ming, and with all this awesomeness it was hard to pick the most interesting part, and of course I completely messed up by choosing uh, this one. I don't know, these links seem interesting to me and really not that difficult to do. Depending on how skilled you are, it could take you anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour to pick up. You'll need an extra hour to really nail it down. And as for making it really shine, well, it's up in the air. My pen still drops from time to time. So, once again, here is Minh's mini combo. Here is how it's shaping up for me at the moment. And I'd love to see how yours is turning out. We used to have a Facebook group, need to see if it's still around. And if it is, feel free to drop your videos over there. I will leave a link in the description. Let's see how we all tackle the same mini combo in different styles. So first up I will show you how the combo looks as a whole. And then we'll break down some highlights. We kick things off with index around and land the mod on middle finger with the ring finger on top. Next comes pass. 2334 with the index round reverse. Stop the mod with your index finger, then with the twist of your wrist, throw it on top of your fingers for a shadow. From there on out, it's all about what you personally like best. Min seems to be all about those counter links with the mod changing directions. So if you are up for practicing this sort of stuff, you can stick around and watch some more of his videos. So how about a little breaking down? We usually don't kick off combos starting with index around, especially while figuring them out. It is always better to give a mod some initial momentum, for example with the good old Sonic 23212. And at the end of the trick we land the mod on the middle finger, not below it, as your muscle memory will strongly suggest. For that you will need to move this finger quite fast. The following move will be pass to ring around reverse. Finish it off by stopping the mod's motion with your index finger. Trying to move on to the last link is pointless until you can manage to do the previous ones. So practice these moves. I will give you a quick reminder in the meantime. Keep in mind that the joy of pen spinning is greatly enhanced with a good pen mod, naturally. And every mod brings fresh experience, though they are never enough. If you want to buy mods, just go to penstock.net. It will direct you to the a store run by my friend, who happens to be one of the best, if not the best, commercial mass pen motors I know. So on to the last move now. Starting from pass, ring round reverse, now turn hand palm down, and get the pen mode moving in normal direction for a shadow trick. And from here on out, you know what to do. Freestyle away, obviously. Now, here is where it is getting interesting for the real diehard pen spinners. In the previous video, I showed you the combo from Noel, and if you missed it out, no big deal, you can always check it out in a card, or by following the link in the description. As you can see, the combo ends precisely with the index around, so you can seamlessly blend them together, merging the Vietnamese and the Japanese styles into one awesome looking piece. One thing though, for easier learning I will adjust the final link from the previous combo. Instead of tucking the mod under the pinky finger, we will place it under the ring finger. It just feels much smoother for me at the moment. Well, good luck on your pen spinning journey. May this style be with you.